Welcome back to Studio 122. I'm your host, Caitlin Barry. We are still with the Cricket City Improv people. So here right now we have Ron Leonard and Brennan Jones. How are you guys today? Fantastic. I'm doing pretty nice. All right. Well, let's start out with what drew y'all to Cricket City Improv. Let's start with you, Ron. Um, I always liked acting and theater, but as far as Cricket City Improv, I actually joined by accident, really, because... Me and a friend saw a flyer for it, and we thought that it was like an event where they were just going to be like doing improv, you get to see it, or maybe interact with it. And we didn't know it was the actual audition for it. So we ended up going, and we ended up uh, going there, and it was like, all right, well, you want to be here? Okay. Uh, fill out this application, and we were like, mm, I don't know if we want to do this <laughs> now. <laughs> and we ended up changing our mind. We were like, okay, well, whatever. We just went ahead and did it, and um, I ended up getting called back. So I ended up staying with it ever since. Pretty awesome. What about you, Brennan? How did you get involved? Well, I was literally walking on campus one day, saw the sandwich board, says, I want to go do that. And I did it. And it was good. <laughs> I nailed it. You nailed it? I nailed it. Um, <laughs> there was talk of a story that you had of some sort. <laughs> what is the story? Tell us what That's exactly it. happened. Well, well, we were playing this game called the birthday game where there's four people, a, the the person whose birthday it is and three guests and we have to bring something that they had to guess I had to bring something that you couldn't fit inside the room it was a water park so I'm behind they think okay how do you mind pantomime a, a water park so I know what I'm gonna do it was also a doll fall I said you know what I'm gonna slide across that stage so I did the knock and this is in Ferguson I slid across the entire stage <laughs> And <coughs> when I went home, I went home with a lot of splinters in my shirt. Oh. <laughs> but it was worth it. That was, it was a lot it of was fun. It was too funny. It okay, was, was so and how long have y'all be each been in the group, Ron? Um, I've been in it for a year now. A year? Yeah. A yeah. full year? Yeah. And Brennan? This is my second semester. Right? Second semester. Okay, and, and just from that amount of time, how has the group grown since you've been here the longest? Um, okay, well, I guess. Yeah. yeah well, well, this will be my second. Well, yeah, this is going to be a, uh, coming up second year. So, yeah. Okay. Um, um, it's grown as far as numbers. It's grown a lot, especially with this past um, this past audition because we brought in a lot of new people because a lot of people are going to be graduating. So we need to keep our numbers up and stuff. So, as far as numbers is gone, it's gone uh, pretty high. And as far as the group, we're come more of a family, and we're trying to keep that more as in tight as far as now we're bringing in more people in so we're trying to keep that same family mind with it so it's grown a lot though as far as actually we're getting better with every rehearsal and Jacob mentioned earlier in the first segment about a family as well like y'all being a family so do y'all spend a lot of time outside of Cricket City Improv together yeah um, just hanging out do y'all have like planned activities or do you just <laughs> like spontaneously <coughs> hang out we have a lock in coming up it's gonna be spectacular. A lock-in? <laughs> yeah. Where are y'all having a lock-in? Jacob's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of, a uh, lot of, just you know, family stuff. We all hang out. Like um, they have, uh, they have the football, the intramural football team. I'm not able to be on it this year because I'm on another team. But have the intramural football team. Oh, and five. We usually, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're zero and five, but they're still ahead of our team, and we're two and two. And so that makes, yes, sportsmanship. Maybe they're, oh, they get really good sportsmanship. Yes. We're just that good. Because intramural <laughs> sports <laughs> is so awesome here. <laughs> That's, it's just so awesome. They recognize so true That talent. is awesome. So, <laughs> so y'all have good chemistry. Yeah. Like yep. Y'all hang out a this lot. This past That's weekend, great. me and, uh, me and one of uh, our other friends uh, in Cricket City, we went to go see a friend of ours in Paris. So, we always do that stuff. What? Oh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, are y'all, uh, Jacob mentioned that y'all have a show coming up this week. Are y'all excited about it? Do you yes. Yeah. Actually have two does shows. everybody perform when you do a show? Does um, all 16 of you, or however many? 16, well, right? Mm -hmm. Well, usually, well, for our new members, uh, rule is you have to watch the show first before you can be in it. So after they watch one, then they can be in it. We have one actually tomorrow night at the amphitheater for a show. And uh, some of them, they'll be able to watch that one, and then they'll be able to be in the Halloween show. Okay. So is the amp which one is the three dollar show? Are the they both three dollars? The Halloween show. The Halloween. Okay. Is the amphitheater one <coughs> free? 
or is it what is it? Um, to my knowledge, it's free. To, yeah, I'm about to say I'm just about sure that it's free because it's supposed to be a a kids event. Well, not necessarily a kids event, but it's mostly like you know trick or treating and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what is y'all's favorite? Th what is your favorite thing about improv, Brennan? We'll start with you. <laughs> well, what's ever on your mind, you just pretty much have to go with it. And sometimes it can be a good thing, sometimes it can be a bad thing, but if I can get a laugh out of it, either way, I'm pretty happy. Sometimes it means I have to hurt myself. Our cabaret show last year, I was supposed to fall like I was dying. And usually I'm pretty good at that, but this time <coughs> when I fell, my face hit the ground first. And I just kind of had to lay there. Oh. But inside, I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, for the rest of the night, my jaw, just this right side of my face <laughs> was just kind of like stiff. It was, oh. it was worth it, though. <laughs> All right, Ron, what um, is your favorite part? My favorite part is just the randomness that is unscripted, that you can't just, like, like, you're, the fact of knowing that you can't, it's not no preparation for it. You can pre you prepare yourself as far as rehearsal, as far as to make sure that you keep yourself, like, keep your mind quick, but you can't really, like, focus that, you know? So it's just that randomness of it that makes it so much more fun. How often do y'all have rehearsals? Twice a week. Twice a week? Mm-hmm. When? Like, uh, how long are they? <laughs> what usually, goes on? <laughs> we usually have them twice a week, and they're two-hour practices. 10 to 12. Yep. 10 to 12, okay. Um, so, show's coming up, you have practice, you have 16 members, that's, that's a lot. So, um, so six of them are new, so there'll be mm -hmm. 10 people in the, in the show on Tuesday. Um, or well, whoever can whoever make whoever the can show. Yeah. Okay, and y'all have an intramural team, y'all have a lot going on. How do y'all juggle so. all that with, you know, whatever you're doing in your major, because what major, are you a theater major? Theater major. And um, I'm an RTV major, RTV. but I'm a theater minor. Oh, that. Okay, so how do y'all juggle improv with everything else that's happening? <coughs> Don't, uh, don't double book, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, well, I know f when I'm planning something that to make sure like on Tuesday and Thursdays to keep that as free as possible because I know, especially later on in the day, I'm gonna be really busy. And honestly, the way my schedule worked out, it just leaves a lot of space open. So I'm able to do the in murals, the shows and the rehearsals, which is pretty nice. I can have my cake and eat it too. That's awesome. <laughs> I like cake. <laughs> um, I mean, Really, it's not like, it's not that, it's, as far as just time management, that's the only thing to just really worry about, because when it's something you you like and you love, yeah. then it makes it so much easier, because it doesn't feel like it's a job, you know? So, mm -hmm. it's, it's always fun, and I always look forward to Tuesday and Thursdays to go and do an improv, and then we usually, some of us hang out afterwards, so. Well, that's awesome. Y'all are going to do some improv for us coming up in this next segment, right? Am I getting involved? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, this has been uh, the second segment of Studio 122. I'm your host, Kalen Barbie. Stay tuned. We're going to do some improv with the boys of Cricket City Improv. <laughs>